Hi everyone, this is Marjorie. This is a quick video just to check in and tell you my update. The good news is, thank goodness this is a keto diet and I'm used to going up and down on the scale. The bad news is, I'm up a pound and so no more keto pancakes for Marjorie. So I'm hoping that next, no, nah, I'm counting on it. Next week I know will be a better story. Um, and uh, at any rate, it's just, you know, I was, I, I know how uh, Tammy felt on Keto and the Chaos because she was so upset that she didn't lose this week. After losing way over 100 pounds, that girl has nothing to be upset about. But we do get kind of accustomed to getting on the scale. That's why we love Keto so much. We get on that scale and amazingly it's dropped. Well, Every once in a while we get on that scale and amazingly it's gone up a little. And that's what happened to me. It happens every once in a while. And I decided this would be a good thing to share right about now for people who are new on keto. I've been doing this six months and I have lost 40. The most I've lost is 42. Now it's only 41 and I'm, you know, just not even really worried about it. I'm. It's not like I'm happy about it, but don't worry when you get on that scale and it goes up and down that just happens so the good news is I'm energetic I'm still in ketosis um, sometimes I think our body has to acclimate a lot of times before I drop several pounds at once I will have a one pound or two pound weight increase and I'm not gonna kid you it messes with your mind but you've got to stay focused you know uh, the best tip I have to give anybody who's new to this and having, you know, a few rough spots to go through, just remember the, the big picture. And, you know, we didn't all get this excess weight on, um, you know, in just a few weeks or a few months. For most of us, this happened over a few years, if not decades. So what else do I have to do that's more important than keep focused keeping on ketoing on so <laughs> anyway hang in there and we'll do this together so anyway not always a good report <laughs> so anyway that's all I've got to say for today this is going to be a short one next week I'll tell you what I did to get back on track and I was supposed to be on track this week but Got to be careful watching those keto videos like the uh, gal I watched that made pancakes. And I went, ooh, no, there's not a lot. Now that I'm fat adapted and used to eating keto, there's not a lot of things that I really crave. And I don't even know that I was craving pancakes until I saw her recipe and I went, oh, that's so easy. So I'm going to try that. Well, yeah. Don't believe everything you see in here. <laughs> Sometimes when people have a faster metabolism or have less weight or, or more weight to lose, actually, the more weight you have to lose, the more rapidly you lose it in the beginning. And then as you go along, it gets a little slower and a little slower and you have to really fine tune what you're eating to make sure you're um, burning your own body fat. So anyway, I guess I have to keep on fine-tuning my um, food weighing and entering my food that I'm consuming in my app. Um, so, hang in there, everybody. Let's keep supporting each other. Talk to you later. Bye.